Right guys, I've pretty much done everything on this map that I can do. Um, highly recommend you do this. You have a run around. Look at all of this that I found. And all of these are places of power. It's an ability stone, basically. Very similar to Assassin's Creed. Where the ones that I've encountered in Assassin's Creed have either had, similar to this, where you've got to kill something to obtain it, or it's a puzzle. This isn't puzzles. So far it's just been kill the beast but then it is a witcher game so of course it would be <laughs> um so i've managed to get my character because i found all these places of power i've managed to give a full suite of fast attack i'm basically putting things in at the minute stuff that i use the most which makes sense to me if i use it the most let's boof, uh, boost it up so my fast attack um is now on its first notch i know there's plenty to to unlock so i'm not that bothered either and i use quen the most as my shield sign and now i've got an exploding shield so i've managed to accumulate eight ability points just in this small area of the map just running around and some mutagens as well picked up from just killing random things so i'm now level four Got myself a new sword here and there, but nothing to write home about. It's time to move on. Let's go talk to Vesemir and tell him what we know. In busy, I see. Yennefer's in Vizima. Got a few friends there, so. Something wrong? Look around. Trouble brewing. <laughs> He's doing the thing. Oh my god, I don't know if anybody's, like, old enough <laughs> to remember. But there used to be a, a show. Um, it was almost like... Uh, it wasn't the... Um... Oh my god, I've forgotten what it's called. But they every week they had a kid's show and it was different. And... There was this one kid and he was doing that with the knife. Live fast, die young. Leave a good looking corpse was his saying. Oh, that's just taking me back to my teenage years. Which was a long time ago. <laughs> right. Then it's time to go. Who are they? Then it's time to go. Or should we, should we ask? Who are, yeah, let's ask in case. Who are they? Patriots. Drinking their seventh round for Tamaria. Fists starting to itch. Don't see any enough guardians. We'll find another foe. I'll buy some provisions for the journey. Then we'll go. Geralt, we should stay out of it. Just this once. What happened to the lilies? Took them down. Took him down to hang a golden sun there now. I cannot uh. show Tamerian colours. They'll come and burn the tavern down. Maybe it's true what they say. You fond of the Imperials? You Nilfgaard's whore? <sighs> I'll let that pass. I know grief eats at your heart. You know shit. They hang my sister, dragged her out the cloister like a dog. Said Nilfgaard's no place for superstition, that they don't fear the wrath of the gods. And you, do you fear it? If not for Annie, your child would have choked on its navel string. You owe your son to Let's my sister attending to the birth, no. and you don't oh. fear the gods' wrath. You don't oh. fear it, you cunt! Leave me be! Recognize this medallion. You know what it means. Back off. You all right? They say witches steal young'uns. That's true. What the Emperor promise you, freaks? Your own land, like he did the elves once. Get out, all of you. We ain't going nowhere. Oh, oh great. Neither are you? Sure. They won't back down now. I can see that. Oh, goody. This oh, oh. oh.
Yeah, bitch. You're next. <laughs> it's all right. It's over. Leave She's the one that started it. Don't talk to her, scumbag. <laughs> See his face. God save us. Be gone. And don't ever come back. <laughs> the beef age had just slaughtered them so all. So much for not getting involved. Come on, let's go. We didn't start it. Yen? Excuses, excuses. You've not changed a bit. Ha! Ye Yen? How? I received a report about a witcher who'd appeared in White Orchard. I knew it was you, looking for me. I might have waited until you found me, but, well, you know me. Patience has never been my strong suit. It's good to see you, Geralt. I, I'd even embrace you. Were you not covered in blood? Sorry, <laughs> wasn't expecting to see you. To be honest, this isn't at all how I imagined we'd meet. How did you imagine it? You didn't imagine you'd have a Nilfgaardian escort. Don't get me wrong, Yennefer. I'm glad to see you. But I do think you owe us an explanation. And I shall provide it. In Vizima. Ready your horses. Uh, why Vizima? We can talk here. Some charming orchards nearby. In bloom even, so you almost can't smell the corpses. A tempting proposition. <laughs> Sadly, I must say no. You see, someone awaits you in Vizima. Someone who doesn't like to be kept waiting. Emperor Emir Var Emrys. Or, to those on more intimate terms with him, the white flame dancing on the graves of his foes. Doubt sure, I number sweet. among that group. For as I remember, last time we saw each other, he wanted to kill me. Well, now he wishes to make you an offer. The kind one can't refuse? I didn't. Though I could have. I'm sure we'll find out. So we may as well go with one. Fine. Guess I'm willing to hear him out. The Emperor of Nilfgaard, Lord of Metina, Ebbing and Gamera, Sovereign of Nazair and Vicovaro will feel honored, I'm sure. What about you? I'm going in the opposite direction. I somehow doubt the Emperor's invitation mentioned me. Besides, I've got things to do at Kaer Morhen, remember? Yeah, I remember. Thanks for your help, Fezimir. See you soon. How's your horse? Swift? Can't complain. Why do you ask? I'd like to be back behind some thick city walls as soon as possible. I feel bad about leaving my mate. You need a wash. You've probably killed the guy who owns the laundry place. <laughs> the laundry place. The laundromat. Knowing you, it was probably filthy. Just the beginning. But then. But then. Right now! Oh, is this a dream or real? Can I take it as real? Yikes. This is cool. 
Not if I have to now fight them, though. <laughs> Is she going to do some magic? Good girl. You'll talk of this tomorrow, all right? After the audience. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this bard's tale begins near White Orchard, with my dear friend Geralt of Rivia seeking his lover of yore, the sorceress Yennefer. She'd eluded him for years, but now seemed just a few steps ahead. After many trials and tribulations, Geralt finally learned that Yen was in nearby Vizima. I've done that bit. <laughs> One day later. Which way you're going, love? Passport. Hmm. It must suffice. Think of your cares if I'm clean. The gentleman will refer to His Imperial Majesty by his full title or not at all. The gentleman will be seated on the berger. The what now? In that chair. Catwin, please shave the gentleman's sideburns to half an inch. I was gonna say, are you gonna let him dress first? <laughs> yes. Something wrong with my beard? What's wrong with my beard? Always thought it added to my dignity. It does. Yet it also detracts from your elegance. In Nilfgaard, we consider beards hard on the eyes. Especially beards infested with lice. Been on the road a while. Fine, do your thing. Tilt your with head lice. back, please, and sit still. Oh, neck exposed. And prepare to answer some questions. General, I am not certain this is the appropriate time. I can't think of a better time. Men turn honest when they feel a blade at their throat. He's a witcher, not an idiot. <laughs> Movran Vuris, commander of the Alba Division. Before they take you in to see the Emperor, Witcher, there's some information I need you to verify. It's a formality, but one that must be seen to. Sure. Paperwork's got to be in order. So, Geralt <laughs> of Rivia. Place of birth, unknown. Parents, unknown. Age, unknown. All insignificant details. Let us proceed to more recent events. The siege of La Valette Castle. The fate of the defending commander, one Arian. Well... I'm going to err on the side of caution and say I spared his life. We fought on opposing sides, true. Then we landed in the same dungeon. Arian escaped, set fire to the castle on his way out. Ah. So that is how the blade started. Our reports suggested the dragon was responsible. Moving on. You then found shelter in Charming Flotsam, and from there made your way to Vergen. My question is how? Um, got out of Flotsam with Vernon Roche. I joined of F. He helped me out. Gonna go, got out of Flotsam with Vernon Roche. I got out of Flotsam with Vernon Roche, commander of the Blue Stripes and... A murderer of non-humans. We know this gentleman well, Witcher. You forge interesting alliances. Something tells me my most interesting is yet to come. Go on, next question, before my beard grows back in. We uh -huh. shall shave you again if it does. Very well. 
The infamous summit at Loch Muin. You were there. And once again meddled in the affairs of the mighty. I'm gonna go with had to save Triss. Which is probably true considering who she is to Geralt. The mighty had imprisoned Triss Marigold. Ought to know I care about her. And I tend to rescue those I care about. And so you did, handing Radovid control of the Conclave and Council of Mages in the process. Nilfgaard recently started a war, unprovoked. So do us both a favor and stop moralizing. The gentleman must sit still. <laughs> I'm almost done. I'm afraid I might find that difficult. Because, from what I know, shortly afterwards you watched a defective megascope blow your friend Sheila de Tanserville to bits. Well, I... Well, I'd like to think number one. I watched her get in the megascope, but ultimately freed her from the trap your man Letho of Gullet had set. Write that down. I want to be sure the paperwork's in order now. Well, <laughs> national interest calls on one to forge difficult alliances at times. Alliances with witches included. Now, I don't know about so I'm going to go with that alliance still alive. Because if there's a chance that with all of these choices, I'm setting up things for the story for myself. It could be cool to interact with this as a character, either in a fight or for whatever reason. It will just be good content. So let's go with the two. That an ongoing alliance? What's Letho up to? I had hoped you would answer that question. Ah, so Letho's hiding from you. Must have a good reason. Was there a shift in national interest that might have caused that? I don't know where he is. Wouldn't tell you if I did anyway. Blade or no blade to my throat. I believe that is all. Your signature, please, affirming you stated the whole truth and nothing but the truth on pain of imprisonment or death, etc., etc. Here and here. With these formalities seen to, I would ask the general to leave the room. We shall be choosing the gentleman's attire. An important matter, but one that does not require the general's assistance. Shame. <laughs> I might have given you some advice. So long, Geralt. Good luck with your audience. And they all fancy him. <laughs> Oh, good. Look what you gotta wear. <laughs> Feels more like I'm being readied for a wedding. Were that so, I would have prepared the gentleman a frock, a tailcoat, or possibly a dinner jacket. In point of fact, the gentleman will choose from these garments. Any color as long as it's black. Black, black, or black. We do not like garish colors in Nilfgaard. The gentleman will tell me once he has chosen an outfit. <laughs> oh. Get dressed and talk. I have no time. Um, do we like option number one? I could st no, the camera's not going to work. I was going to say, shall I stand with my head? Should we try that? No, it's not going to work. I thought I could be clever. <laughs> Put my head behind it. I quite like, I don't like the uh, ruffled neck on that one. <laughs> I don't like the ruffled neck. Uh, are those two like similar? What's different about those? Has that got more detail on the coat? Well, that one's got a panel. Oh, I don't like that. Right, I'm going with this one. Okay. Sorted. I've got to get dressed, so I've got to put it on. <laughs> Hello! 
my armor on and my trousers on. <laughs> chuck, <laughs> chuck my uh, old bucket to keep the towel. <laughs> like I've gone to a hotel, <laughs> stolen the towel. Well, looky here. <laughs> Hilarious. Black suits the gentleman. Does the outfit satisfy the gentleman? Oh, so you can try on. Nah, I'm fine with it. <laughs> You've given me not much option. A studded doublet and a sword on my back. That's what would satisfy me. But tough. When in Nilfgaard. Yes. It's a saying. So what now? Powder my nose? No need. The gentleman's complexion is light enough. <laughs> the gentleman is to stand before the ruler of the north and south. I must confirm that he knows how to bow. I'm not a bore. I know how to bow. Do I know how to bow? I'm not some boar. I know how to bow. Please, demonstrate. That, sir, is how you might bow to a whore on a street <laughs> corner. Not to the Emperor of Nilfgaard. Please watch. Leg extended. Hand flat. Head down. Chin to chest. The gentleman will rehearse. Oh my god. Uh, what was it? Right leg forward, left hand on chest. Well, he's facing away from us and his left hand went up. Right hand on chest. Pretty sure it was... Was it? Can't remember. Hmm, lacking fluidity and grace, but we've learned to expect less of Nordlings. Come with me. Everybody pushing me. The gentleman will address the emperor only when asked to and using the appropriate title. Your arch magnificency. I see the gentleman is in the mood for jests. I fear the Emperor might not share his disposition. Your Majesty will suffice. Spoken loudly, clearly, and with respect. Oh, good. Im grimi eb art kerze. Daifen aden in karn eb marvut. Emir var emres. Bow. I bowed. Your Imperial Majesty. Arer ep do orde. Avelian namen, vat gern favort. All that practicing. I thought you bowed before no man. Didn't want to disappoint the Chamberlain. We're friends. <laughs> Take it you didn't summon me to reminisce about the good old days, so... Silence. My daughter, Cyrilla. She's returned. And she's in danger. Yeah. The wild hunt pursues her. You will find her and bring her to me. Uh, she's back, you're sure? Are you sure? Siri left, went far, far away. Do you believe I drag you here in the middle of a war to discuss a rumor? I think anyone can be wrong, even an emperor. 
I had forgotten how insolent you can be. I haven't the time to convince you, nor the desire, in fact. Yanafu will do that, after the audience. How many men in your army? Twenty thousand? Thirty? So why me? You know why. Because she trusts you. She trusts me, yes. So tell me why you're looking for her. She Doubt it's about dress. making up for all those lost years. For reasons of state, as always. Enough of this banter. You will agree regardless. If for no other reason than because I shall pay you. More than you customarily receive for a contract. Considerably more. Only doing this for Siri. Need information, not motivation. I need information, not motivation. Siri leaves few tracks. She'll be hard to find. My corps of spies will help you. Count on them and my army, should the need arise. Yennefer will tell you the rest. This audience is finished. Meredith! Take him to the sorceress. me if the gentleman pleases please keep close there are many honorable guests in the palace whom the gentleman disgusts need not bother <laughs> god i don't know how many cutscenes are going to be in this one guys and it's past noon calm yourself what do you know who you're talking to soldier I'm Herobard II, Prince the of Elan. Not only yeah. have I made to wait here last night, I'm a supplicant. Rad sliten e enekt es tun es saur an me. So well done. I'm just sorry, I'm just soaking it all in, guys. Christ, it's a maze. I'm going to get so lost in here. It's not even funny. We crossed the Yara, we will cross the Pontar as well. Once the gentleman is done, he should see me to retrieve his possessions. Ah, okay. Okay, guys and girls, I'm going to leave that one there because I've got a feeling I'll go in there and then it'll tick off another cutscene with Yennefer, probably. <laughs> A juicy one, no doubt. So, um, so we've set, set a lot of scenes here, I think, with my choices with those questions. Some was a bit of a guess. Others might have consequences that I'm not sure about. Um, but nothing bad happened, so we'll probably find that out later down the line. <laughs> yeah, okay. So I've got to talk to Jennifer in the next uh, part, and then we can crack on with the rest of this. This is getting interesting now. Um, recognising some of the actors' voices as well. Did you recognise the actor um, who was the Emperor? I did. I think he was in Game of Thrones. I think you might know who I'm talking about. Let me know if you do. Stay safe, stay amazing, and I'll see you in the next video.